Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Ray Jr. Um, video uh, I'm doing right now is uh, for Biggie's Comics. Uh, my homeboy down there in New York, he's doing a 500 uh, sub contest. And I do believe that um, the qualifications is your favorite uh, covers for your comics. So, I have a whole lot of favorite covers. So, <laughs> I only picked out a few. And uh, a majority of them are my graded ones. Um, because... You know, for one, the covers look real cool um, for me to get my books graded. And then some, like I said, probably due to the fact I, I got signatures on them and I just want them preserved or whatever. But um, I'm just showing my support to my homeboy. I don't care if I if I win or whatnot. I, when I enter the contest, it, it's not about winning. I just do it to support the community. So without further delay, uh, for my man Big E's, uh, here are my favorite covers for comic books. Uh, that I own. Uh, got this one, DC uh, Universe Rebirth Wonder Woman. This is a variant cover. Got this from a man, uh, James, down in uh, San Diego when he went to the San Diego Comic Con. And I just love the way Wonder Woman is looking on this. As you can see, um, just how gorgeous she looks right there. And that cover is just amazing. The foil on it, how shiny it is. I uh, plan on uh, getting this uh, graded. Next is Batman, same same concept. James got me down at the San Diego Comic Con. Uh, you probably see my glare in the background, but uh, as you see that one, and I do have Superman one, but I'm not really a big Superman fan. Mainly Batman, Wonder Woman on the DC side. So these are my favorite covers. I'm not saying that the Superman cover is trash or anything. It's just you know this is what I prefer. Okay, next up is one of my favorite covers Journey to Mystery 85 first appearance of Loki CGC graded but this is his first like modern day uh, appearance I think his first appearance was in uh, a comic called Venus number no. 6 if I'm not mistaken but there we go with this one so just bear with me because Got a, lot, got a lot to show, got a lot to show. Right here, got DC Comics Presents, number 47. The first fight, well actually the first Prince of He-Man, uh, Battle Cannon Skeletor in comics. Yes, that's right, in the comics. So, when He-Man first came out, they had the little mini, mini comics that they was in. But this is the first comic DC that, uh, well, com actual comics that they was in. I sent this in raw, didn't even get a uh, press or nothing, as you see it came back a 9.2. So I have another copy, I'm going to send that in, and I'm definitely getting that press, because I got the great, the greater notes back from it, because uh, I was always wondering why CBCS wasn't showing uh, my other graded comics. I, ha I have a total of nine, not a lot graded by them, but they will be getting more of my business, because I like their work. And uh, just saying when they migrate over to the new system, some of the invoices did not carry over. So I had to email them and they sent me the results of uh, the other six. So I know what was wrong with this one. So the advice I've gotten from, you know, like Big E's and uh, Market 316, uh, Lords of the Long Box, and my man uh, Marty, just send that sucker in press regardless. It'll help it out. So DC Comics presents 47. Right here I have Justice League number one. My favorite cover, one of my favorite covers due to the fact that that's my state flag, Kentucky. So I'm real big on that. I uh, sent this one in also. I uh, didn't get it pressed and it came back a 9 6. I also have uh, the state of Washington where Cheryl, uh, Mason, uh, Trey, and Jalen was born. And I have Hawaii where uh, two of my kids were born. And, uh, State of Texas, where my other kid was born, yes. A total, we have six little ones, well, not little ones, but six kids total between me and Cheryl. And then I got the state of Illinois coming, mom, and she's from Chicago. So that's why I picked these books up and uh, uh, I'm getting them graded. But this is one of my favorite covers as well. Let's see. Here we go here. We got What If. Thor Battle Conan the Barbarian. 
You know I'm a big Thor fan, so first opportunity to get this on eBay, I did not pass it up. It came back a 9.6, so that's good on that one. But uh, I read this book when I was younger, and I always wanted to own it because my buddy, uh, my best friend back home had it. So he let me read it a few times, and I used to like sit there and try to draw the characters. Well, I could draw them, and uh, you know, just just the story was just great. I, lo I loved it. So it was one of my favorite covers. Pretty sure everybody's seen this one before. I've done a video on, but All Star Comics number 58, first appearance of my girl, Power Girl. So one of my Consider one of my favorite covers because her first appearance. And then I bought this off of eBay as well at 8.5. Everybody that knows me knows uh, I am a big He Man fan. So I purchased this bad boy too. 9.8. Signed and sketched by Tom Cook, the animator who created He Man. I was, you know. Just I saw this and said, "Yeah, I gotta snatch that up." And then you got the seventy Super Friends Superman on there, so wonderful, wonderful cover. Video is at six minutes and thirty seconds right now, so I'll try to keep this short. Next, another He-Man book, Master of the Universe. Probably could have came back maybe a 7 if I sent it and get pressed, but I've learned my lesson. And this is the first Masters of the Universe in their own title. So, yeah, I'm knocking it out with uh, the Masters of the Universe. And this is one of three. It's one of three. Two of three. This is before they got real in depth of Masters of the Universe. Now it's. In the comics is where Skeletor is uh, He-Man's uncle. And this is 3 of 3. And you see each grade went up. I went 6.5, 7.0, and 7.5. So, like I said, just imagine if I would have got them suckers pressed. Nice. Okay. Comes the big dog, Wolverine, 5.0, and signed by Stan. I know there's a lot of debate why, you know, Stan signs a lot of stuff. Why would I have him sign this? He had nothing to do with Wolverine. I look at it as in, yes, he had nothing to do with Wolverine, but he did create the X-Men, and Wolverine is the X-Men, so that's the way I look at it. Plus, he's the godfather of Marvel. Can't go wrong. This is uh, number two. It came back at 3.5. Like I said, I, I've learned my lesson. I'm not sending no books in, getting great uh, press. I have eight at CGC right now that I made sure that they sent to get pressed. So that way I get every inch of my grade that the book deserves or whatnot. Uh, this is the uh, first prints of Yukio. But this is 3.5. And this was signed by, signed by Stan as well. We got number three. Surprisingly, this came back a 9-2. So I wonder what a pressing would have did for this one. Signed by Stan. There we go. And then we got number four, the 3.5. So it wasn't like high grades when I, you know, on these books or whatever, but books had for a minute. So, like I said, I'm learning, learning more and more each day on the Comic Fanatics uh, Facebook page and just chatting with folks on the phone as in, you know, it's not all about just bagging and boarding. You got to take care of your books. And I think if I would, uh, you know, know, know what I know now, I probably would have had some high grades on this and then, you know, got it pressed. Uh, it probably wouldn't have helped that none, you know, probably either going to a 4.0 or maybe a 4.5 depending, but who knows. Next up, I got Daredevil 65. This is off of Volume 2. I just love the cover, Daredevil. The way he's like 
jumping in the air and he's got his billy club and then I have this one signed by Phil Hester and Tim Townsend this was at the Planet Con in Kansas City Missouri in 2015 I want to say yeah 2015 March of uh, last year let's see next up on the on the slate one of my favorite covers Captain America number 100 when he got his own first uh, magazine title at last 6.5 yes I did buy this off eBay not ashamed of that everybody knows I was cranking them out on eBay buying a bunch of books but just love it you know you got Black Panther right there his Submariner uh, my man Thor Iron Man the Wasp Giant Man in the back so one of the most iconic covers right here uh, taking over from Tales from Suspense Issue 99 was the last one, so that's that on that one. And then last but not least, my favorite cover, and I just got this bad boy this past weekend, is Thor, Journey into Mystery, number 83, 4.5. I think I'm going to go ahead and pay for the greater notes so I can see what was wrong with it, because who knows, maybe I get lucky, maybe send it to a third party. They can get it, crack it open, get signed by Stan, I can send it in, get it pressed, cleaned up a little bit, and maybe get a better grade. And then I'll definitely be happy. But this is one of my favorite covers. I have a statue just like this. So this book means a, a, a lot to me now. You know, not only I got the book, First Prince of Thor and Dr. Donald Blake, but also a statue that replicates it. So that is it. That is my video uh, to support my man Big E's, Big E's Comics. On uh, favorite covers, like I said, I, I got a ton of a lot more favorite covers, but these are the ones that was ready accessible. All the other ones are in the boxes, the long boxes, you know. And I feel like digging in them long boxes to pull some stuff out. And then I got some stuff that are, like I said, sent off being graded and whatnot. So hopefully you like the video. Go ahead and tell me what you think. Click like, comment, and I hope everybody has a great and fabulous Thursday. Till next time, I'm out.